You're now watching a clip from the Mark West Sports Podcast. It's obviously, but we have missed. Let's, yeah, hold on. Let's let's do some album reviews. Oh yeah, album reviews. Kodak, and you know that. Hey, Glee. All right, you listen to the Kodak, right? Damn right. Tell me, tell me what you, what you thought about the Kodak. Hard. You feel me? Why? Really? Yeah, I think the Kodak album, um, the Kodak Black album was hard. He he hit different levels. Even the songs that he kind of sung on, you feel me? I was not on it at first, but when I listened to it again, when I was, you know, outside, you know, chilling with Tyson, you know, enjoying a kite, you feel me? I I was like, okay. I like okay. Kodak, man, you know straight me? up. Like, I mean, yeah. Kodak is be spitting to me. Like, he has a lot of thought behind he's one of these trap dudes to me from this new era that really spits to and me he don't yell. you know he spits he, he you know he's monotone or whatever whatever you know he's got that little squeak, that sometimes. little squeaky voice that he got going on for his voice though. <laughs> come on but it's like but, no way he got but, a squeaky voice yeah you're right exactly so i i like the way he spits but some of the, some of his songs though to me on this album i wasn't feeling you know, like I feel like he was. To me, he's moving into this a lot of slow commercial songy no. type of type of songs, and it's not really the type of stuff that I would vibe to in my car. Yeah, like they're good songs. Like women will love this album. Any girl from from South Florida, go like who is you know. There's a reason for that though. Has a little thug in her. <laughs> will like that album. It's a reason. To, to me, like, it's good. It's a good album. Like I said, I like Kodak and the way he spits, you know. You already but know that. At, at times, it's more on that lovey shit, and I don't really... I mean, I can understand a couple songs like that, but for the most part, I don't want to hear all of that, you know. I don't want to hear that for the most part. I want to hear more thought-provoking, provocative, punchlines, gangster stuff, get me hype type of stuff, and then sprinkle in some slow stuff. To me, he had more slow stuff than I would rather like to hear. No, 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 no. You probably, you probably like just forgetting about the songs that he, you feel me? He had because he had a few songs on the album. He had Smackers, Purple Stamp, Midas Touch. Ooh, you got F back for everything. You feel me? You got now. You got um, Omega was tight too. You got Vulnerable. You feel me? Okay, that's the you know singing and stuff. You know, but again, regardless of the fact, when it comes to Kodak, he, like he's giving you different types of him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, he, I, I, and get I think that. he a Gemini too. He got different personalities, like Pop. You feel what I'm saying? You one day, one day you like this, and next day you like that, and next day you like that, you like that. You feel what I'm saying? But, but me personally, I think that album. You know, compared to all the other individuals, because all the other individuals, all they do is talk about selling drugs, killing, and smashing dimes. Kodak is be talking about he, if he do talk talk about it, he barely talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like he he don't really, you know, he'll probably talk about guns that he have and you know how he'll step on niggas. You feel me? But he don't really talk about that. You know what I'm saying? He really make music whereas somebody like any nba young boy you talking about all the beefs that you have how you killing people and this that, and the other you feel me you giving me the same type of persons like when it comes to like the old school um jeezy you only talking about dope you're not you don't giving me even though your album is hard you're not giving touching different bases that i think kodak is um hitting off of so um i think me personally i would get y'all rating it if you talking about five mics yeah yeah for the, this generation? No. No, yeah, for what you what's, oh, oh, right okay, now. for right now, like I'll give that shit four four mics because there was a few songs that I was old, like on shaky with, but it was okay. I mean four and a half. I would give it four, two. You know what I'm saying? And not four and a half. I would give it a straight up four. Just because the beats is fire. Mm -hmm. The beats was like almost every beat was like, whoa, to me, you know? Um, but it's just the some of the concepts of the songs kind of dragged on. Like I would skip through. I wouldn't. I wouldn't listen to the whole thing. Like I don't want to listen to this shit again. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the first, like the first four to me. Like I listened to like front to back. You know, 
the first four to me were like, okay, these are fire. And then there was like this lull where like, uh, it's too much of this slow stuff. I want to hear some more gangster stuff. And, and, and like, I wasn't really hearing that. And then at times he, he just wasn't as lyrical as I would want him to be. See, but going back to what you're saying as far as what the, the Before uh, Mike's though. lovey dovey shit, you feel me? Because like, of the beats. If the beats wasn't as fire, then I'd probably even rate it a three and a half. Nah, but but going on what you're saying, like, is because if you notice every February, he comes out with like a Valentine's Day shit. That's what he normally does. He got a real album that's coming out in August. You feel me? This is just something that he just wanted to give. You feel me? Every time, if you look back, you feel me? You see the cute, the the with the album cover where he was like, like Cupid or whatever like that. He always drops something for the dimes in February. You feel me? I think that he just put a few songs that like people like us that really like what you want to hear. He put a little bit of that on this and not more so lovey dovey shit because he's been incarcerated for a little minute. You feel what I'm saying? So he just wanna okay, you see Kodak Ben dropping hiss after hiss after hiss. Yeah, a lot of the songs on 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 the album that he had with his his sniper gang, KTB, he didn't even have on the album. You would have thought that he probably would have had it on there, but nah, he had it on the Halloween album, same like Super Gremlin. You feel me? We uh, he done said that um Super Gremlin was not even supposed to be on this album because they didn't even want him to come out with it. He just put it out, you feel me? Just to see what the what the um, fans would have thought, you know what I mean? Because they didn't want to put no money behind it or whatever, and they wanted to be in a song that blew. So, of course, let me just go ahead and put it on this album as well. So, so, so. I, I listened to this album too, and uh, I think it was a throwaway album. That's how I felt. I, I'm actually going to give it a two. What? Damn. Damn. I'm going to give it the a two. Hell? <laughs> I thought it was underwhelming. I thought it was super underwhelming. The first two songs, I, 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 was, I liked it. And then, like I, like I told you, I text you, so, track number three through number eight, I skipped all of them. And I've listened to this That's album like three thinking. times. I've listened you know, to this album like three times, and I skipped like tracks a, three through eight. There's like a moment where you're just like, oh, what is this? I got to go ahead and check. And man. I'm not even going to lie. I, I got to disagree with Marcus on the production. I did not like these fucking beats, bro. No. I did not like them. I, I like felt them. like a lot of them beats was just like... <laughs> They all felt like they they was missing something. Like if a beat was coming on, oh, like yeah, and it's just on, it, like like where's the bass? There ain't no bass on this one. Or another beat had some bass, but it was like all right, but where's there? There's no strings, no percussion. Like what what the fuck's going on I with these beats? I disagree with that. Oh, you tripping? I'm looking at I'm looking at the name right now. His, that, his lyrics his lyrics in this to me was subpar. We know we're all Kodak Black fans. Kodak Black is usually good on his lyrics. To me, the lyrics was there was I. It was I. His flow, his flow was kind of off point at on a lot of these songs. Like a lot of these songs, if I almost felt like he was trying to catch up with the beat. You know what I mean? Hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean, even even the even the hooks, the hooks and the choruses. Like that's that's the thing for, for, for me. For, for Kodak, a lot of these, these hooks and choruses, were I was just par, like, bro. Mm, nah, man. Par, so yeah, I gotta listen to that I'm, shit again. I'll, I'm a, and I'm gonna listen to it again. And I I'm telling you, I don't I don't like this album. I don't see yo. how you don't look, like the beats. Though. Listen to. I, I have look. This is what I'm telling you. I have a feeling that this is a throwaway album that Super Gremlin was doing so good. And he almost he almost wasted that song, making it a compilation song, trying to show off a uh, a uh, sick. Well, nah, with it's the, not wasted though. It's not wasted. Like he's a number one. Hey, right no, no, it, it's it's I'm, becoming a classic, to be honest. No, the, it's the, becoming like the like album. Daddy, I'm a thug. It's like I know on that, that level. That song. <laughs> but what I think was that people don't want to go. They're not trying to listen to that 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 other album with, with yeah, Halloween. his people's on it, right? The Halloween the Halloween Night. Yeah, band, you only right? want to listen to the ones that he's so, by solo. What happened was I think Super Gremlins b- became a hit and they're like, "Oh shit, we got to move on this momentum." And he just said, "All right, let's throw Oh, I got I got some songs already in the tuck. Let's just throw these shits, you know, put oh, put a different beat on or or produce this shit and boom, we got an album. <laughs> we we going to move on the momentum off Super Gremlin. I think this shit was whack. Oh <laughs> what? Damn. <laughs> Damn. God, that's a what? strong take. That's I wouldn't take call it whack. whack. No, no, I you would can't definitely say that. not call it whack. It's so damn, if I that's what he's good. Like you don't like the beats on that shit because I think I, the beats li- were really soulful. They were like almost Caribbean too at, at uh, times. You know what I'm saying? I like that. And then you had the real just thug, just your ass done, down <laughs> south type of beats, man. I think the beats was just fire. I just saw some of the 
like the concepts of the songs I did not like, and a lot of the hooks I did not like. I agree with you on that, man. I'm you know gonna send y'all specific songs so y'all can listen to through. I like, I like what you, y'all see, y'all skip. Boo. Usain, but like, cause yeah, yeah. cause after that track number, cause after track number three through eight, the next one was Usain Boo, and then I got back into. It. I was like, okay, this should sound hard. No man, but you, you got Usain like, Boo, then like that's vulnerable. Album. Not man, I like this album. Look, you got you got the Elite Division, hard as hell. You got Midas Touch, hard. I didn't like Midas Touch. Purple Stamp, hard. Purple Stamp was okay. On everything, hard. I like on everything. Smackers, hard. Smackers was okay. It back was, on everything, on, on back on everything, hard. You feel me? Like um, grinding, grinding all season was okay. You feel know what I'm saying? I like grinding all like, season. I like grinding all season. It's okay. <laughs> that one was okay. Like that I one. I like it. It's not bad. That one. Nice. The first I like time. I, the first time I heard it, I skipped it. But then after, it kind of, it kind of got to me. I was like, I've been grinding got, all yeah, season. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, I, I like wish, grinding all the season. The I wish song. That's it. Okay. You feel me? But I, don't, I, don't think I, I, like I that. do agree with you that his content was like, cause he went from like. Maybe some gangster shit. Then he got like a love song. Man, then he's talking about uh, he is yet, transitioning. Man. I give him that. Like he he's to... transitioning. He's not. You know, you could tell his personality is changing. You know, what I'm saying with the money because the money does change you like, as much as you uh, man, hate to admit it. The, the, the money will still change you as far as your personality. You're not as hungry as you were when when you started in the game. So it's gonna change the way your music sounds, and and that's what I see from Kodak. Right nah, now. man, y'all y'all tripping on Kodak. Y'all can't try my dog Kodak let's, like right now. Let's, that, let's man. do re- really quick, maybe some any other albums y'all listen to. Just like let us know what y'all. Yo, before we talk about albums, let's talk about you feel me like like some of this bullshit that's happening right now. Y'all know y'all heard the Boosie diss track going back to NBA Young Boy oh, and yeah. Gucci Man tr- um, diss track going back at I NBA Young not Boy. Heard either you one. feel me? What? The Hell is going on over here? Like, <laughs> hey, heard hey you need to listen to it. This. You know, um, Gucci Man snapped and Boosie snapped. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I, I heard the NBA young boy, he snapped too. But now, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at it like, you know, like, I mean, Gucci Man talking about, you don't let me put you in a blunt. Meaning, you know how they be saying smoking on Pookie Loke and all that other shit. You're like, don't let me let let that be you. You feel me? And you got on um, Boosie over here, like, you already know. Everybody that talks shit about Boosie, they find up miraculously finding a way to die. You feel me? Where nobody knows what happened. You feel me? Yeah, you just got shot or killed. You know what I'm saying? And now you 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 involving me in, in, in some shit that you got going on. And, and Boosie, like, look, I don't call niggas. I, you know, I call shots. And you know when I say calling shots, you feel me? Like you know I send hitters basically. You feel me? Like I don't like come on man. I was on death row man. Don't play with me with little nigga. You know what I'm saying? So me personally, like um, I don't think that was the right move with NBA Young Boy. Just the way that you came at the OGs. I, you feel me? Is like like um like I mean Chris, you you don't speak to somebody that we know. You know um and and and. and you know, like sometimes, yeah, I pick sides because, yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna say what's up to him, but I ain't gonna really fuck with him. You feel me? Whereas, you feel me, like he had a little show and he invited you and you was like, okay, I'll slide. You feel what I'm saying? And being young boy is like, yo, like, if I don't talk to him, then you shouldn't be talking to him. And if you talk to him, I don't fuck with you. Like, that, that's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, again, I may n- not have an issue with you, but I ain't effing with you a certain way. Because I deal with this dude, I kind of feel him, but I don't feel him because it's music, it's the industry, and to 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 build your career, then it's going back to the whole West Coast East Coast shit. You feel me? It's just not West Coast East he's, show. He's, East he's, Coast. He's getting a lot. He's getting a lot of enemies, man. So he's got Lil Durk, right? That he's mm-hmm. enemies with. Uh, and these these are motherfuckers like like you said, they're like people who you beef with them, and then for some reason. These people end up dead or some shit. Whether not saying that they whether, did whether it. it's whether it's regular street shit or just some other shit, right? He's got beef with Lil Durk. Now it's Gucci man. Now he's got beef with uh, Boosie. Boosie, and all all of these guys are seem pretty um like established. Yeah, exactly established. Yeah, in the street and mm-hmm. in the industry. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what I don't know if NBA young boys on a suicide mission just like fuck everybody. I'm I'm on my Tupac shit right now. Mm-hmm. Fuck all y'all. Y'all don't. Jeez. And and I think he also got a little bit of beef with Kodak, like at, yeah. at one point. And, but he didn't mention Kodak. And the thing is, anybody who's doing a song with Lil Durk, 
NBA Young Boys, like, oh, okay, because that's like, I guess, their their opposition. And Kodak just made a song with um Lil Durk on Lil the Durk's album. the only feature the on only this new one. album. So that's just probably showing you, like, yeah, this is where I'm standing, People boy. picking sides. People picking sides. Me? And Lil Durk is in the industry. And NBA Young Boys is, you know. But shit, he's still moving units, so fuck it. We'll see what yeah, he does. He can move yeah, yeah. units. He still, got, he still got the feds on his ass, is. so he might be in jail. You you never know. See, but like at the end of the day, man, like you get all this money, man, but when you die, the money stays. Yeah. And you go. So like I, I was it's like, why you you just you just did a bid. You feel me? You come out with this bullshit to just get killed. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know, and it seems like recently, more recently, more rappers are dying. So, like, why would you be on some bullshit like that? You feel what I'm saying? Boosie almost got killed. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they try to sneak him, you feel me, and shot him in the knee. You feel me? But, again, that's an OG. So, what, what, what the young dudes think that's going to happen to them? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, Nipsey Hussle got killed on, 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 on like, they got the video. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? So, hey. And be a young boy, mm, I don't know what you're gonna want to tell you, cause sometimes you probably you ain't gonna even know where it came from. We gotta we gotta ask Marcus about this Kanye West concert that he went uh, to. <laughs> yeah, what happened to that thing? Oh uh, man, uh, first of all, you sound kind of negative, right? right first now. of all, to get to get to that bitch was was a mission and a half. <laughs> a day kind of uh, traffic because. You know, just trying to get around to, to you know, because I'm always trying to figure out, trying to sneak my way, trying to go through the back streets. Of course, of course. You know what I'm saying? And I had to do it like old Orange Bowl style and park on somebody's lawn, man. I gave somebody $10, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Parked on the lawn. It was right there close. So I just walked, you know what I'm saying? You know, me and my dime over there, and it was crowded. Uh, I will say that, and we had to wait close to three hours until this dude even came on. You know what I'm saying? He's black. <laughs> close to three hours. It was supposed to start at Easy. eight. It ended up starting like around eleven. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, probably like yeah, like twelve thirty one, something like that. Man. So no, ruin a nigga night. Yeah. So yeah, we got in there chilling. You know, um. It's dark as hell, bro. Like you know how you at first they had the 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 roof closed and then they opened it up. Thank goodness because they had basically his house burning. His old house that burned it was like a replica in the middle of the field, and it was on like water. There was like this border around the house, like a rectangular border. They smart. They the know house. not the shit. We ain't gonna burn this shit down that underwater. Like maybe around. Six to eight inches of water. We're like not that. burning the stadium. So down. that's where Kanye was performing at in that like six inch water, which was it was cool because the whole time when it, when it was about to start, I was like, "Is that water? Is that is that like a mirror?" You know, everybody was trying to figure out like, "What is that?" You know, um, and you see this big house in the middle, and then once this once it started, like it started, it was on fire and it was burning. Like in the middle. So how did it smell inside the stadium? It was burning when it was closed or No, open? they opened it up right okay, before good. it started. Okay. So it's, it was burning. So the aesthetics of it was kind of cool. But at the same time, it's dark. You can't even see him. There ain't no spotlight on Kanye. You know what I'm saying? There, there's no spotlight on him. So it's dark. And there's no like, um, you know, like picture on the jumbo screen. So you, So you basically couldn't see him. Yeah, you basically couldn't see him. You hear the music, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you hear, you see the burning house in the middle, and then, so like, they got random people, like, walking around it looking like soldiers. So, hold walking on. Walking around it, and then you had people on um, motorcycles driving around that shit so while he's performing. In the water? No, they, were, the water they were around the water thing. All right, so so the, fi- the only light that you had was the light of the fire burning house. Basically, you had some little light, but it wasn't a spotlight. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a spotlight on the stage of what was going on. Uh, I was like, damn, man, like, what the hell? Uh, and, and I already went into it knowing that he probably wasn't going to do any other old songs or anything like that because he was just going to do songs from Donda. Yeah. I mean, Donda was is a cool album anyway. I liked I, I liked the yeah, album. You would have hit with Jesus Walks. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, if he would hit me something with that or you if he would hit already? me with anything from the first four or five albums, <laughs> you know, then I would have been losing my mind. But I wasn't because it was off of Donda. Yeah, I like Donda. It's a good album. Better than his last two 
I think. Um, but at the same time, you know, you 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 went to that concert not not feeling fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you had a bunch of people come out. Pusha T came out. Um, Alicia, Alicia Keys came out. Um, Playboy Cardi came out. Um, Soldier Boy, you know what I'm saying? Big Soldier. I don't think Soldier Boy came out. Migos, I heard sure. Migos. Was Migos there. was there. Migos was Soulja there. Soldier Boy got some new shoes, you know that, right? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, all of that was cool or whatnot. Um, but at the same time, like I said, you know, it wasn't. It was. It was. It was an unfulfilling concert. To me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, thank you for the gift to the that person early? who <laughs> gifted me this these tickets. Uh, for this concert, but at the same time, I'm glad I didn't pay for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just like, yo, yeah, I like Donda, and I probably like the the album more now because you know when you go to a concert and you really experience the songs, it brings you back to that moment. I mean, my Don was Shit, chilling. But the moment is a bad moment. You can yeah. see his ass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but still, you, it, it's still a moment out chilling. You yeah, know, I'm yeah. there with the wife or whatever, so it's still chilling. We was vibing, you know. But at the same time, like, yeah, I, it, it was an unfulfilling experience to me. And then and I then heard, I heard about, about, I didn't even I see the shit, shit, but I heard, I heard about, about him throwing the mic. The mic. You know what I'm saying? saying? I, I seen, seen people, people talk, talk about, about it or whatever, whatever, but I didn't really see, see, it see it myself. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was going to ask you. I'm like, cause me and Chris had seen it. Well, I know I seen it. And, you know, I think Chris seen him throw the mic. They was talking about it all on media. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, when he had Texans, I'm like, damn, yeah, he had that. Yeah, I remember him saying he's going to go to that shit. But then when I seen, like, the negative reviews after you said, like, you're still waiting for his ass, I was like, okay, like, damn. And I seen that they said two hours. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. I seen they said, like, he, he was having trouble with the mic, and he just threw that shit. And then I seen him throw that shit. He was talking, and I guess, like, it was going in and out. Do that, do that shit. shit. You feel me? Yeah. Did yeah. you, yeah. I mean, you see him throw it? Nah, I didn't see him throw it. I mean, I did. I mean, the audio did sound kind of weird sometimes. You know, uh, I'm not gonna lie. But for the most part, it, it seemed okay. I mean, uh, there's been other concerts when it, it's been worse. I'm not gonna lie. But this it seemed pretty decent. It was a nice venue. I mean, at the Marlin Stadium, so it, it was cool being out there. Um, wow. But at the, but same, at the time, same time, like like, like I, said, I said, I wouldn't, I, 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 I would regret it if I paid if for it. it. And, and you know, you, you know, didn't hear no old Kanye, Kanye only from Donda. Donda. It was dark as hell. hell. You didn't you see him on the on the damn screen at least. You know what I'm saying? Like it was unfulfilling. But thankfully, you know, I had good company. But that's all I gotta say about the Kanye. Hey, I mean, I'm gonna piggyback off of that.